What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mystery Bag Monday to PlayStation 2 Mysterious, episode number uh, 11, number 26 overall. We are burning through these episodes. They've been so much fun to do. Hopefully you're enjoying them uh, as much as I enjoy making them. Uh, and if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe on YouTube. Scroll down just below this video. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Mystery Bag Monday goes up every surprise Monday. Or you can catch it live over on twitch.tv slash Rex at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, this Mystery Bag Monday, oddly enough though, recorded on a Thursday because of a bit of an internet issue. I guess the internet was just kind of out in the whole like general area. So uh, I wasn't able to get this show done. Which was, which was fine, because it didn't put me behind uh, any sort of content problems or, or schedule, um, anything like that. Uh, so this one's being recorded a little bit late, uh, and what this show is, is I have a bunch of these mystery bags. These brown paper mystery bags, and they are filled with PlayStation 2 games. We have three different ones. Today we're looking at bag number two. In each episode we reach in, I reach into the bag. Pull out three random games, we see what they are, what they are, and we play them for a little bit. And just to see how good of a deal this bag actually is, we're running them through pricecharting.com, and that'll tell us what these games are currently going for, and it'll give us a value of how uh, how good they are. The value has been great. It's been fantastic. Um, we are nearing $200 in total value across the three bags, and we still have five episodes to go. No. Six episodes, no, five. Today, and then 26, 27, 28, 29. We have five episodes to go, including this one. So we're absolutely going to crush the $200 the two hundred dollar mark. Uh, we are currently sitting at $195.71. And bag number two itself is so far worth $55.22. So we should be able to get to the triple value level uh, today. That sounds like a fun, like, game show-esque phrasing the triple value level allows you to not walk away without a million dollars i don't know what the hell would happen uh but there you go we be getting all kinds of weird stuff in these bags we've gotten some generic kind of sportsy stuff we had like bad in 2004 you were in trismo 3 a spec those are kind of the games you expect to see in these uh in these bags cheaper much more common games um but we have had two of the most expensive games in Mystery Bag Monday history, which again, only 26 episodes old, but still worth noting. We had Castlevania Lament of Innocence going disc only for $16.25, and we had another game, oh, Deus Ex The Conspiracy, again, disc only going for $14.02. Uh, price charting accuracy, or prices, price charting prices are accurate as of 6 17 2021. So if you're watching this video way later and you are curious, uh, of what these games are going for, and you go, hey, hey, he said this game was worth four twenty, but it's really worth six ninety. That's why. It's because you're watching it later, and the prices have probably increased. It's just how it's going. So let's uh, let's get this show started. Let's dig in to these bags right here. Nice and nice and noisy, they are. Are there any cellophane? Oh, there we go. Well. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's three. Mm. You know what? We'll just take the top three. Now, I have my eyes closed. I'm just going to put that back up here. Hold on. Spy the landing spot because I have a drink. It has a straw in it. Do that. Move this. Slide that out of the way. Put them down. All right. So like this. I don't even know what that says. What does that say? Up. Oh, up the video game for the PlayStation 2. All right. All right. That's the first game here is up for the PlayStation 2. A game that I have fully completed on this channel. We will get to experience up with the, through the power of the PlayStation 2. The Disney Pixar movie. Easily one of the best Pixar movies uh, around. So I hope you expect a full review of up throughout the uh, throughout the, the following few 
following gameplay segment. I can't, I don't know. I think this is correct. Nope, didn't line that up correctly. Uh, Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. This is a uh, strictly a disc and disc and case game. Uh, now it is an official PlayStation case. So it has a little PS logo. I don't know if you can see that. There it is, right there, right, right there. Uh, so we will we'll have to count this one as disc and then case, disc and box. So this one will be kind of weird. This is uh, another one of those part of a sets. Uh, I think we had that with, um, it was Harry Potter last week. Where we had that as the part of a set box. Didn't have a specific listing for itself. So we just went with the black label version. I don't think it would really be a problem. But I guess if you have a problem, uh, let me know. Third game up is... Oh, why am I, I'm not, there's the spine. Hopefully it's right side up. Meet the Robinsons. Oh, God. Oh, no. Meet the Robinsons. It's a Disney game? It's a Disney game in a, like a blockbuster or GameCube game case. I don't know if all that shows on camera. All right, Meet the Robinsons for PlayStation 2. This is a super late PS2 game. Because uh, this movie is like at least 2008, maybe 2009. The PS2 had such long legs. Uh, da, 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 da. Copyright Disney. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. I couldn't have opened that in a dumber manner. Couldn't have opened it in a worse manner. Uh, this is a blockbuster game. Complete in box. So... There, there you go. We have up disc only. Meet the Robinsons complete in box. And we have uh, Medal of Honor disc and box. So there you go. Meet the Robinsons. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. And up. Up. So there you go. Let's get these, uh, let's get these games written down. We'll play, we'll do a couple of cartoon movies. Up disc only we have mo medal of honor rising sun uh, this one is disc plus box and then meet the robinsons this one is cib uh, each game we pulled by the way had an increased piece to it. We had just the disc, disc in a box, and then a disc in a box, and a manual. Pretty fun. Let me see if I can find my PlayStation 2 controller. Hmm. Where, where did it be? Where did it be going? Hold on. Hold on. It's wrapped in a power cable. Could have uh, killed the whole system. Chose not to. Thankful it didn't. General gameplay is where we are going. We are going to jump on in here to a little bit of Up. Uh, a game, I don't think the game is terrible. Uh, I think it's fine. I perfected it last year. Yeah, last year? 20, no, two years ago. Two years ago, I, I actually played the whole thing and got all 1,000 gamer score on it because uh, I was celebrating the 10th anniversary of Up, a movie that I love. Up, I think, would qualify, would be, let's see. Up, I think, is number number two. My second favorite Pixar movie. Um, do I not have sound in these headphones? Is my monitor doing that weird thing again? It is doing that weird thing again. Uh, hmm. Well... Hold on, I think I just need to unplug it and replug it in. Hold on. You won't miss anything, it's just me. Wilderness Explorers. Oh god, that's so loud in my ears. There we go. I didn't unplug the actual monitor, which I think is the problem. 
Hold on, hold on. Let's see. So, if we go and grab... Oh, boy. Man grabs wrong cord. Whole situation falls apart. Because I've had this problem before. I think with this show. And I had to, like... I ended up switching the... What the f I fudge? What is happening? Is it because it's plugged in? What is going on? You're getting audio. I just have to read the subtitles. It's going to be the adventure just like we imagined. We're on our way. Oh, come on. God damn fucking oh my god technology i hope you enjoyed that lovely view of my armpit and my uh, muscular arm i hope you enjoyed that why does it do this what do i need to want what do i need to unplug what am i missing here that's gonna do what i need it to do all right now this time hold on what did i do last time now you only get audio out of the right now you only get audio out oh that was the video just kidding hold the wrong cord my bad now you only get audio out of that side I've had this problem before, and it turns out I had, had didn't have to do something specific. The problem is, and I knew I should have done this, I moved the cord. I took the cord out of the back of the monitor, and I moved it, and then that caused a whole kerfuffle and problem. So I guess I just don't get to listen to the game? Fuck. I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew I shouldn't have done that. You idiot. I don't get to hear Doug's beautiful voice. Uh, input? Change the input? At least you get to enjoy all these lovely things. Uh, menu? Contrast the volumes? Fine. God damn it. It, it seems like I, like I moved it, I accidentally built up like a charge or something and it popped something in the monitor. But it works perfectly fine with the Xbox because it's not plugged into the monitor. Hmm. All right, hold on. Enjoy this lovely cinematic again while I try to fix this stupid problem. Okay, well, I guess I just don't get to hear the game at all. <laughs> God damn it. I... 
Well, okay, great, cool, fantastic. Super glad I got a walk-off win in the baseball game I played so that I could have stupid technical problems uh, with, uh, with a PS2. That feels good. Feels awesome. Also, welcome to the first 15 minutes of this video. Hope you enjoyed the technical difficulties. I'm, I'm so fucking irritated now. I am so fucking irritated. Please do not remove the memory card. Okay, you got it. All right, let's see. We'll create. Oh, nope. I know, I know. I was trying to create. Hit down twice. Uh, pi. P1E. That's not what I want. Oh, I owe a race. We'll be uh, Mike. There we go. Wait, you, you can only have three characters? What? Who's it? Who's it? Oh, here we go. Well, Rex. Who's a three letter character name? I guess just Rex. How do you spell FBI? Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, I'd love to create it. I don't want to lose these precious memories, but I can't here. All right, uh, oh, there's mini games. What are the mini games? Head to head or championship? Oh, is it just the kind of not great multiplayer? Chapters. Chapter one, crash landing. Oh, there's a, there's a speed run? Oh my gosh. That's, this is the game. This is what we're gonna get into uh, bonuses. What's bonus? Cheats, game movies, concept art, high res images, collections, <laughs> high res images in like a 480p game. All right. All right, all right. High res image. You know what's cool about the high res images? You know what's nice about those? Can I please go back? Fucking God, I hit triangle about six times. Uh, high res images don't require sound, which means that if I can't hear them, I don't miss anything. So that's good. Uh, there's cheats. We Hold on, let's see what the cheats are. I don't want to cheat, you know, out of Carl and Russell out of this incredible adventure. Up. P. S. 2. Eats. Also, they're probably... No one probably wrote the list on this at all. Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. Cheat codes. Not what I'm looking for. Because I just put the word up. Didn't didn't need up your arsenal. Uh, Carl's wears Munce's aviator glasses. Russell attracts all butterflies. Uh, Carl heavyweight. To lift Russell up in the air, Carl just needs to jump from the teeter-totter. Balloon party. When he jumps, Carl creates multicolored balloons. Okay, well, we'll do balloon party. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. When all the bug trophies to unlock this cheat. How do I... How do I input a cheat? Ah, here we go. So... Let's see. Let's do aviator party. A, V, oh my god, this is A, V, I, I, A, V, I, A, A, uh, T, O, R, A, I, V, A, I, A, V, I, A, V, I, A, T, O, G, whoops, whoops, G, O, G, G, L, L, E, S. Aviator goggles. Cheat unlocked. Perfect. All right. Hold on. Score some points here. Oh, we'll go to the pause menu to activate your cheats. Uh, let's see. And then we'll go. We'll go balloon party. B, B, A, L, L, O, N. Uh, party. P-A-R-T-Y-P. -P. Oh, God. This is a so unresponsive. R. T. Y. Wrong code. What do you mean wrong code? How dare you? Wait, do you have to like... Do you have to do it in like the specific spot or something? 
That doesn't make any sense. I spelled balloon party correctly. B. B. A. L. L. O. N. Definitely is double O. Definitely misspelled balloon live on the internet for everyone to see. Excellent. Excellent. A. R. T. Y. There we go. There we go. Now we got them. We have the two that are worth getting. I need to hit triangle again. All right. We'll go back. Uh, we'll play. Chapter one. Crash landing. Feels good. I'd love to be able to hear any of this happening. Um, that'd be pretty sweet. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? What are you doing out there, kid? Uh, hi, Mr. Fredrickson. Remember me, Russell? I'm trying to... to get my wilderness explorer... Assisting the elderly badge. badge. Never been in a floating house before. Look at this lifelike PS2 a graphics, a just like the movie. You going on a trip We're running at about seven frames a second. Don't touch that. I think I like up so much because I relate to Carl Fredrickson. Whoa! Are you all right, sir? Is he really getting knocked out? I think he does. I steered us down to South America. It was a cinch with your map and my wilderness explorer GPS. <laughs> right. Well, it's time for you to go. We'll get you down, find a bus stop. That's yep. How long before we land, Mr. Fredrickson? Hours. Oh. Ellie. It's so beautiful. Mr. Fredrickson. Mr. Fredrickson. Mr. Fredrickson. Your house is floating away. Yeah, it's that's it's happening. Your my house is floating away. Uh oh. Alright, here we go. Speed run time. Oh Oh. Press square at any time. Whoa. What happens when I press triangle? Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful butterfly, butterfly species. Why? This is so, like, what does that mean? What does that do? What? Pick this up. Grab that. Okay. You just do that. Come on, Russell. Oh, do I have to, like... Hello? Oh, there you go. There you go, Russell. Have some help. God damn it. Oh, it's the most annoying thing that I can't hear it. Ah, fuck. It's not even the PS2's fault. It's the stupid monitor. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know how it... Like, it's, it's pulling audio correctly. The way it's supposed to. This is, here's, you get like an inside look into like my brain doing two things. Trying to move past it and just like not worry about it and being super fucking annoyed because one simple tiny little thing is all of a sudden not working for like no reason whatsoever other than I unplugged it and plugged the cord back in and that for some reason broke something. 
but it's pulling audio correctly because it's pulling through the Elgato and it's showing in the thing and then it's supposed to be going into the back of this headset thing. There's only one place it can be plugged in and it just doesn't work and I fucking hate it. <laughs> so annoyed. So hang on, we're going to pause the video. More technical difficulties. We'll be right back here in just a second. Well, uh, <laughs> apparently I just own two monitors now that uh, have broken um, aux cables. Just totally busted. Don't work at all aux cables. And <laughs> literally, all I've done, all I've done is plug them in and unplug them. And I don't understand why they just refuse to work. So... Hey, if you know any, uh, <laughs> I fucking hate you, you piece of shit. Uh, if you know of any cheap monitors that have an auxiliary cable out of the back, uh, I'm in the market for one. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy the sweet sounds of the up video game that I do not get to hear because I, uh, apparently broke everything. So go ahead and continue here. Technical difficulties, cartoon movies, and war games uh, continue here on weekend or uh, whatever the fuck this stupid show is called. Uh, I, I, I am so fucking livid. It's one of my pictures. They must have blown away when we landed. Hope I can find them all. Each of these is a memory of Ellie. Oh, we gotta get the memories of Ellie. When you see a butterfly, it's Russell. Capture it. Oh, give me that butterfly. Two of eight. We are not doing the speedrun record very well at all here. Whoop. Uh, what? Go to the bug rock, press circle, and wait for your partner to start a bug competition? What? Oh, God, there's so many bugs. Wow, look at them all. Only good bugs are dead bugs. Oh, you squash him? God, Carl. Carl, calm down, sir. It's going to be okay. Oh my god, he's, he's putting up a competition here. Oh, just kidding. I kicked his old ass. We're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, Carl can use his cane to climb to high ledges. Right. I'm okay. We already learned that. And then it's circle. They already taught us that, but they just didn't show us. So that's weird. Also, most of this up gameplay has been uh, like the opening cinematic. And, uh... Oh, it's like a whole level thing. Yeah, I got it. I got you. I got you. Oh, there's a butterfly over there, Russell. Alright, now we can catch up as Carl here. Oh, I'm player one and I'm winning a lot. Never mind. Just kidding. So it's actually kind of different to grab a rope. Oh! Alright. Grab the rope. Press towards it. Uh, hello? Game? Please? Ah, there we go. Ho! Oh, yeah. Ho! Russell overshooting everything. There we go. Got bug number three of eight. Fantastic. No. Let me have it. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I get that butterfly? There we go. Four of eight. Looking good. Come on, old man. Nailed it. Wait, did I run into Carl or Russell there? All right, drop down over here. Oh wait, we gotta get this picture frame. Oh, <laughs> uh, apparently, don't just uh, just don't jump in. Uh, jump into the water. Can I? Oh, there we go. Oh. Not at a 
playground. But you expect me to jump on the other side from up there. Yeah, that'll make me fly. Suppose I might get us where we want to go. Okay, Russell. But if you make it, find a way to get me up there too. We need to get my house back. In a minute, I won't even be able to walk. Oh wait, hold on. We gotta turn our cheats on. I totally forgot. I got so distracted with my stupid broken monitor that I forgot to turn our fun cheats on. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Your turn, Russell. Oh look! Now he's he's got balloons coming out when he jumps. Oh, there we go. He has the, uh, he has like aviators or whatever. Oh my god. I don't know if we can really see him all that well. Hold on. Oh, missed that jump. Hold on. Baby oh, time. Oh my god. The balloons. Hello, balloons. Can you get out of the way, please? <laughs> please? Please, you're not making this easy. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, now we have, uh, we have Munce's stuff on. Oh, we just can't go that way. Whoop. Oh my god, this game is so bad about where the camera is going to be. Whoop. Nailed it. Come on, Russell. There we go. I can't, I'm actually kind of surprised it's in the little uh, cinematics there. His balloons didn't show up, but at least he got that part. Yeah, there we go. Is there a picture frame up there? I'm tired. Do you actually have to hit, do you have to actually hit circle to like interact with it and grab it? Well, I guess that makes sense. So we have two of the eight pictures and then like some of the bugs. Oh, nope, oh, fell right in the hole. Because the game went ahead and was like. What? So do that. How do you, what? Oh. Carl's about to die. In a minute, I won't even be able to walk anymore. Also, the game audio on this, uh, pretty quiet. Russell, please. Oh, wait, never mind. Oops. Russell, I'm sorry. That's my fault. That is 100% my fault. I, uh, forgot that I needed to... Yeah, I know, I know, I know. He says after just saying, I forgot. Yeah, I know. Don't have to wave your hat at me, sir. I see you over there, okay? Calm down. Get out of the way, Russell. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Get out of the way. I'm worn out. I need some food. Hoop. There we go. Hold on. 69 bugs. Give me the bug. 58. <laughs> this game does not have like any audio at all. Nope. I can get him while Russell's taking forever. Get more bugs. Ha, ha, ha. 61. Nope. 39. This is, I don't think this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, look out for that trap. Oh, there's a big trap there. Oh, shit. Don't forget to collect fruit. To oh. Is that what I'm doing? Come back once you get the magnifying glass to use the dynamite. What? There's like Metroidvania aspects in here? Like, oh, look at this. So how do I... Oh, I gotta get some fruit. Carl's, like, walking, like, he's extra hobble. Oh. Is that what that's supposed to do? Kind of just farm it? Uh, okay. Well... What do you, what? 
All right, hold on. Since we're back here, just keep going this way. Oh, uh, okay. So it just takes your takes your health. It doesn't. Oh, nope. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Whoops. That's okay. We can grab this. We got health. Minute, got health for days. Health for days. Hoop. Got it. Hoop. Oh, Russell did not make it. Hoop. I need to give it an extra little swing at the tip. All right, hold on. Carl, I guess, fell over. I think I ran into him again. Russell's power knows no bounds. There we go. Uh, go to the circle... The, what? Stone slab with Russell. What the... F what? Oh. Look at Russell. Dynamite. All the guns in the world. Can you... Hello? Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I got you. I see what you're trying to do, game. You're trying to make me feel dumb. Well, you have succeeded. Bam. We jump up here. Circle it. All right. What a dumb way to do that. All right. Moving on. Oh, just kidding. We're going this way. Sorry, camera didn't show me. Because it follows the second player for some reason. What? Russell, you okay? Hold on. Six of eight. We have one of the memories. I like that the memory is just like right on the story path. Uh, okay. Three of eight of those. It. Stop, 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 I'm stop. Okay. Ugh, ugh, get him, get him, get him. Oh, I'm Russell. I forgot that I was Russell. Hold on, I don't feel okay getting that with a child, so we'll go ahead and... 69! Oh, I, I, I fucked it up. I fucked it up, I moved past it. Oh, God damn it. Okay, full health, make sure that we're... Oh, God! Alright, alright, well. Remember when I got full health and then immediately walked into some spiky brambles? That's fun. That's fun. Can you, can you, can you not? Uh, oh. Hold on. Oh, the stone slab. I remember these parts from the movies. Can we do this? I said movies like there were multiple of them. There was only the one. It was all, there was only one up movie. One of the last movies before... Pixar went into a little bit of a uh, what I would call sequelitis. Had a lot of sequels over the last couple of years. Yeah, I'm aware that you can press square. God. Okay, camera. I don't need to see both characters in frame every single time. Oh, look, it got ca caught on this one tree. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. I, th I thought we had it. thought we caught the tree or the thing. Our house. Maybe not, sir. All right. Chapter complete. 200. You win. Best time, 420. Jungle Blaze It with Carl and Russell. You win. A rope. It will allow Russell to help pull Carl up vertical obstacles. All right. Cool. Back to the chapter menu. You can only replay. So you have to, you actually have to like come back to that. Because you have to figure out, there has to be a way to get through that, uh, that trap thing. Oh, so you have to speed run this game. Oh my god. You have to speed run. Where's the... Oh. All right. Oh, it's just a speed run. Speed run challenge. Speed run. This is how I get into GDQ. I speed run up. Look at those tree trunks. My Look at these free trunks. Says that tree trunks can be used as 
Don't get your hopes up, kid. That rotten wood is never gonna be a canoe. All right, here we go. Ellie, I can't believe what this kid is making me do. Sir, Ellie's not here. Go left and right with the left analog stick. Press X to go forward to slow down. Hold the left analog stick down. Be careful. There are numerous hazards along the way. All right, here we go. We're going for gold, baby. This is, a, this is an auto scroller. It's a good time for some donations. Oh, a little bit of an uphill here. You lose some momentum, but that's okay. Be sure to swing. Oops. <laughs> All right, that's okay. That's okay. We gotta. We have to practice before we get to GDQ, right? So here we go. Slide there. Okay. Make sure you you paddle up the best you can. Now, if you're quick, you can get through that before it hits its rotation. Okay. Back uphill, upstream, as it were. Look out for bears. Thing in your salmon. You really, only get one shot if you die. Going this way. Whoa. Crocodile. Another crocodile. Ooh, the big uh, big mouth open there. It's pretty uh, pretty lenient here on the the outside. Make sure to go up right up the middle. Go for these rocks. Okay. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for here. Now we have a we have a big red guy. A couple of red guys. Hold hold back in case you need to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now you really got to thread the needle here through that section. Game thought about it. I tried to determine if I was too close. I needed a game over. I did not. Careful right there. It's nice and slow. Get through there. Not a problem. Not a problem. You're mashing X this whole time. Make sure your thumb stamina is ready to roll. As this is a thumb intensive portion of this not so thumb intensive video game. A lot of crocodiles, alligators, whatever your preferred terminology. I don't know what they are. I don't care. They are not supposed to eat me, and the game tells you to, that that is the thing. Slide right through there. Russell gets a little bump. He's okay, though. He'll be all right. Okay, let's go on through here. That animal is throwing stuff. So make sure. Oh, oh, I got hit with a coconut right in the ass. You crushed my old ass with a coconut. Kind of some bullshit. Whew. This is a, kind of a long level here. Come on, baby. Go up. Uh, hello? 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 Oh, that's scary. That is real scary. They like to taunt you, apparently, with this. The house. Go through right there. Put on the brakes. Swim, 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 swim. Ouch. Russell, go ahead first right into that wall. No big deal again. Oh, trying to go up. Not sure what these are doing. Raw. There we go. There we go. Oof, oof, oof. Ah. Hard X presses here. Doesn't have the greatest controlling. You can kind of drift it a little bit. There we go. And we'll slide through. Slide through. Ready for another uphill segment. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I mean, oops, just kidding. This is exactly as long as I thought it would take. Russell fell there a little bit. No big deal. Just trying to avoid that red. Let's go, 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 go. Team, team, team. Please. Team. Oh, there we go. That's the end. And then that's the end. See? My wilderness explorer manual is always right. Chapter complete. Oh, best time. 353 nailed it. Perfect. That's exactly what you want to see. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for about a 353 there. 
the Raft Race head-to-head -head minigame is now available. All right, there you go. And uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and go back to the chapter menu. And that uh, that is uh, that's up on the on the PlayStation Two. We're on Chapter Three. Welcome to the Jungle. I'm sure, the game has auto saved and all that stuff. Let's actually check out the bonuses here. Uh, we have cheats. Oh, you have to spend 200 points to unlock cheats. Hold on, I'd rather unlock some high-res images because that's what I can actually look at here. Game movies, movie clip two. I don't think these are actual, these aren't movie clips, these are just game movies. They do not look like the Pixar film from 2009. High-res images. Unlock this item. All right. Oh, there it is. There you go. It's actually not terribly... It's not high-res at all, but... Sure. In 2009, that's not high-res in the slightest. Alright, we have 300 points to spend. We can unlock a cheat. Let's unlock one more cheat. Oh, we'll unlock the 300-point cheat. Absolutely. Old movie. Using an old movie effect during the entire game, except for the cinematics. <gasps> what? All right, hold on. Hold on. That was worth buying. Absolutely worth buying. Hold on. Chapter 3. Welcome to the jungle. Please don't copyright strike me. Whatever shitty band wrote that song. I don't know who it is. I know that they're shitty. I know that. Lucky my house got hung up in that tree. Now we just have to find a way to reach it. I did pick the correct cheat to unlock. How do you... How do you even tell what the other ones are? I guess we have to play the whole thing and unlock it. Cheat activated. Alright, there we go. Oh, look at that! It's like Grindhouse. But it's not. It's like... Oh, look at that. This summer, be prepared to watch an old man and young boy fight through the forest. They'll collect bugs. And, uh, uh, Rose McGowan has a, uh, gun leg. Look out. It's Zoe Bell on the hood of a car. On April 6th, 2007. Get ready to grind house. There we go. Ooh, I almost caught the frog. Oh, he's got the memory. Carl, get your memory. Get your memory. That's the only way I remember, is if I have it to photograph of the memory. A summer. Jump. Oh, shit. Look out for snakes. A summer. Uh, well, wait, hold on. Oh, God. Got him with a sunbeam. Aim the sunbeam right into someone's eyes. They'll never see again. What a good, uh... What a good lesson to teach kids. This summer, blind snakes. So you can rescue an old man's house. Grindhouse too. Oh shit, look at porcupines. This summer, ow. Get bit in the ass by a porcupine. Switch characters accidentally because you don't know the buttons. Grab this. Oh shit, there's a bunch of bugs in there. This film has been rated restricted. Must be 17 to enter. This summer! Have I run that joke out yet? What? Repeatedly collect... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get some health back. This summer! <laughs> Get health back! <laughs> Feel more alive than you've ever felt before. This summer! Alright. Alright, well that's actually kind of a cool cheat. I mean, like, it's a dumb, like, silly gimmick or whatever, but... That's, it's fun. Tell you what. Yeah. If Twitch is still a thing. Twitch still a thing. YouTube still a thing. I don't see why it wouldn't be, but, you know, if it's still a viable thing in 2029, I will come back and in, well, that summer, <laughs> shit, uh, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Up, a man 
at that time will be 39 years old. Let's try not to think about it, because that's kind of depressing. Summer 2029. Uh, up on the PlayStation 2. Coming to a Twitch.tv. Oh, I guess we could do it. Hold on. Hang on. Summer 2024. We could do 15 years. And we could do up on the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 version of up. In the summer of 2024. Whenever the anniversary of this movie is. It's May something. I think it's May 17th. This May 17th, 2024. Sean. Twitch.tv slash Rex And YouTube.com slash Rex. One day later. We'll be playing up the entirety of the video game on the PlayStation 2. Summer 2024. Look at that. Man burps. There you go. There is up. With this cheesy, this cheesy thing. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Up, oh, not a bad game. Not a bad, uh, not a bad game. I seriously will play it on, in summer of 2024. Uh, if I remember. That'll be the 15th anniversary of Up. I have the PlayStation 2 copy right here. Okay, not that I would necessarily not buy another one. So I don't have to sell this game for three years, you know. Four years. That's three years. Learn how to do math, Sean. Okay. So before we move on to the next portion of this stream that I still cannot hear, uh, I'm going to nearly knock over like a pretty full Baja Blast. We are going to open up a new tab in the Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, whatever it's called. We are going to go to pricecharting.com. We're going to search for up the video game. The... Video game. Uh, maybe. Do you want to? Do you want to go? Oh, okay, here we go. Nineteen forty-two. Wait, wait. What? 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 Whoa! Whoa! What? Hold on. Hang on. Are you serious? Hold on. Let's just look up. Up. What are you talking about? How did it find 500 games? How it did this... Uh, surf's up. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Just had to scroll down far enough. Um, on the PlayStation 2... Up. There we go. Should be the correct one. That absolutely is the correct one. We'll open that. Make sure it's in a separate tab. And uh, we'll let you know what that price is a little bit later in the show. Up, for some reason, brings up 500 games, and the first one that it brings up is 1942, for some reason. Oh, this is in, like, an official PlayStation 2 case. Wild. Alright, set that over here. On my new pile of crap. <laughs> Brand new pile of crap. Uh, next, we will move on to Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Part of a set, uh, not... For individual return or exchange. Almost thought about putting that in a PlayStation 2, uh, but I didn't. Can't be this that portion of the stream can't possibly go much worse than up did. Um and now oops, that's the wrong that's the wrong one. Now we need to load up a Best Buy. Uh buy dot com. There we go. And I'll have to go find a new monitor. I don't know if there's a way to, like, open that and fix it. I don't really want to pay to have it fixed. I guess it's a good thing I get paid tomorrow, but I'm also trying to do other more interesting stuff than buying a stupid fucking monitor. <sighs> but maybe if I can find one cheap enough. I have a third monitor. I just don't know if it has a... I guess I could go to, like, Walmart or something. I just don't know if it has an aux... 3.5 millimeter aux came on it. I don't know. So here we go. We're playing Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Medal of Honor, a dead franchise that they have tried to reboot, but it was big in the in PS on the PS1 and the PS2, and then they uh, just never were able to do anything with it in a modern uh, modern com context. Medal of Honor. Rising Sun. 
this one was always interesting to me because you fought the Pacific angle of things, um, which is more interesting to me from like a historical perspective than we're storming Normandy in every fucking war game ever. Um, but first, some propaganda. Uh oh, it's December 7th, 1941. Whatever could possibly happen on this day. Look at these photo. Re Look at how wide this widescreen is, by the way. <laughs> Look at how just absurd. Look at this man. He's a babe there on the thing. <gasps> Remember? Oh, man. Remember when their, uh, their tagline for Medal of Honor was, You don't play. You volunteer. That's how realistic it was. All right. Here we go. Got to get top side. First person shoot. Oh, my God. Oh, no. That man ran right into an electrical wiring. Holy fuck. Dude. We're in the toilets, kind of. Oh, the barbershop. I've always loved. Oh, shit. I've always loved places that have that. You know? Just love a good. Oh, look. It's so intoxicating. We're never going to get out of here alive. I like that they put that, and there's just like a barber shop there. Wait, hold on. Is there a quartet? This PS2 controller has such like bad drift on it. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Because I don't know. This game is hard to look at. I'm spinning around a bunch. Oh shit! Come on, Mac, jump over. Oh, press jump to get over pipes. What is jump? Oh, triangle, obviously. The natural jump up. Press crouch. Square, again, the natural the natural button. Close it, sir. Do you want some help? Press action to assist the engineer. Engineer assisted, bonus objective one complete. I don't know what button I did. Was that X or circle? I hit both. Must have been X, because that's what I hit first. Oh, goosh. Oh, fuck. Sir, are you okay? Extinguish fires. Hello? Hello? What the fuck? How close do I uh how close do I need to be? I feel like I'm uh, I feel like I'm too close. Uh, yeah, I am too close. Because I'm fucking dying. He's still alive! I'll take care Uh well, I need some Film canister. I found a film canister. Somehow. I need a fire extinguisher. Here. Give me that thing. Here. There you go. Oh no. Oh no. Horrifying. Fire extinguished. Okay. I really need health. I really, really need a health kit. Because I was way too much in that fire. Oh, here we go. Here's the thing. Action. Oh, new profile. Alright. Our profile name is War. This is the part where uh, a really intense... Um, montage plays, and then, uh, um, uh, what's her name? Fuck, Mila Jovovich gets really sad. Oh, wait, hold on. She has to pick a save slot first. There you go. Now, th this is where the montage plays. She gets really sad. It's a fifth element reference for all of you out there. Bum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, ba -dum, bum. Save complete. Great. All right. This will be good. Hopefully, I'll reload with full health. Because Lord knows I need it. Get topside. Here we go. Oh, my God. Sir, you fell down. Are you okay? Whoa, shit. Oh, slow-mo. Yeah. He shot, is he wearing shotguns as a belt? Oh god, yeah, motion blur. Okay. 
shoot planes. Uh, whoop. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me hold on. Let me take out some of these planes with my uh, gun. Hold on. Whoop! Missed that one. Oh, I found a medical kit. Do I need a reload? Oh, R2, obviously. The natural reload button. There is a lot happening here. Oh, ow! Oof! Got hit. Ouch! Oof! Ouch! Ouch! ouch. Found a medical canteen. That's good. good news for me. Found a medical canteen. Oh, here we go. Uh, found a medical kit. Look at that, 100% health. Come on, doing a bang up job over here. Uh, now what? Yep. Hit all of those shots. Yep, nice. Let me sprint. I don't know if you can sprint. I have no idea. I clicked left stick, which I'm sure would not be the sprint button, even if it were in this game. Found a medical kit. What am I fucking doing? Oh, am I using this? No, hold on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now. Now. I have no idea. Where are the planes even? Okay, cool. The California was defended. All right. Oh, that's it. Metal and skeleton key awarded. Bonus objectives completed two. Hits taken 18. Enemy plane shot down one. All right. Save profile and continue. Save war profile. Do it. Absolutely, I want to overwrite that, that, that old data. That's perfectly fine with me. Save complete. Fantastic. All right, moving on. Pearl Harbor. The movie starring Ben Affleck and... Is it Josh Duhamel? No, that's not right. It's, uh... Oh, God. What the fuck is his name? I can picture his, uh, I can picture his face. I was going to say stupid face, but then I thought that was unnecessary. Josh Hartnett, that's what his name is. It was, That was the key. I had to say stupid face. I couldn't just say regular face because that's like a, you know, that's not descriptive enough. Stupid face, though. That's where, that's where it gets interesting. That's where you go like, oh, fuck, yeah, that's great. Remember how fucking bad that movie was? Remember Cuba Gooding Jr. in there? Cuba Gooding Jr., he's cool. Or like, cool. Because he's cool. There we go. Complimented. Engines are good. Alright, let's see what this old gal can do. We gotta I feel like I should probably oh. Sorry, sir, I can't hear your commands. I uh my headset uh won't didn't it was won't connect to my monitor. Whoa shit! That probably would have looked really cool. I would have. Been, I, are you kidding me? Look at this looks. Look at that. Look at this. I volunteered for this. I think I'm supposed to shoot that. I don't know. Ow. Ow, 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 Stop. 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 I appreciate it. I appreciate your bullets. I think that's our ship. Sir, the man under your gun seems to be confused on the back of your boat. Who am I shooting? You're shooting the planes! What? What are planes? My god, that's where like a an old wily veteran would be like, my god. Recruits today just don't have the same gusto that they used to. And then everyone's like, everyone's boring. The problem is they all got participation trophies as kids. No real work. Like, uh, seems like you might be scapegoating a little bit, but uh, all right. Uh, obviously, my my uh, T-ball trophy when I was four entitled me to what now? They're like, we don't have an answer for that. Shut the fuck up. 
We don't have time for your childish bullshit. And that's how they get out of not answering any of the questions. Look at that. All your Easter eggs. So cool. Look at how exciting. I bet this would be 15 times more exciting. Like, that would be exciting. Where are you going? Do you know where you're going, sir? Seems like you're kind of just in the water. He also kind of looks like he's trying to steer, but the the boat's not going enough for him to like do anything. I can't move. Is he on the phone or something? Whoa, shit. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh-oh. I'm assuming that's the boat we were supposed to be getting to and it just blew up. Look at this stunning two frames a second of action. It really does not like the amount of smoke that is on the screen. Here we go. Now we can fire off. Fire off some rounds. On in USA, I was. Oh shit! But Sean, that sounds a lot. Are you okay? Yep. Escort the USS Nevada. You do not call the USS Nevada an escort. Fuck you! <laughs> They're like, USS California for life! <laughs> I just imagine that every boat has like a... Because they're all like big gruff men that are like way too fucking egotistical and like too uh, brash. You know, so they, everything's a competition, right? Six men. Whoa, look at that. 20 enemy, 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 20 enemy planes down. Enemy planes down. Look at that. Bonus objective. Okay. You committed the most murder. But son, this murder's justified. Is it? Is it? Ow, stop shooting me. Leave me alone. All I did was... Wake up. A lot of planes here. There are a lot of planes. I am gonna die. I made it like to the end of this fucking portion of the mission and I'm gonna die. Now is when I'm gonna die. Battleship Road to Thin. Look at that guy. Look at this guy's gonna be aggressive. Hey! I got a pack of smokes rolled up in my sleeve. Hope none of you ever see a day like this again. Or nobody will ever know what it was like. But maybe the ones who lived through it. You just be damn sure you don't forget the ones who didn't. Feast your eyes on the horrors of war. This is where it would pan out to like a, a shot of some people at an art gallery. Hits taken 103, like a fucking champion, all right? Enemy plane shot down, 32. December 7th, 1941. That was supposed to be an old-timey news guy, but I did not do it very well. With uh, December 7th, there we go. I needed to go a little higher in the octave. December 7th, 1941. Um, some stuff happened. Now, here's some Yankees highlights. The Japanese war machine had swept across China, cutting off American aid, and then pressed on into Burma with limited resistance. I don't, I don't know what's happening. At home, Japan was building up a seemingly superior naval fleet. Look at these lovely planes. By some of the world's largest these lovely planes, Gerald. But Admiral Yamamoto's prediction had come thought that man was walking with a cane because I was thinking about up. And no, it was a sword. He was he was holding a sword. I think. And the photos in black or the images are in black and white. I I don't know. The United States. I'm a millennial. I rely on color. Ah yes, it's silver. It's a cane. Oh, it's it's black. That's a sword. Duh. Save profile and continue. 
These missions are not nearly as long as I thought they would be. <laughs> Enjoy over 37 missions of high octane action. Let's see. The first the first thing on the on the uh uh the bullet points at the back survive the devastating attack on Pearl Harbor. Battle through the jungles of Guada Guada Canal and the streets of Singapore. Oh, do you not actually go to Japan? To fight alongside battle hardened allies. This doesn't even tell you, like, anything. Alright, here we go. Whoa. There's so much fire in this game. Alright, here we go. Now we're ground. Ground troll. Oh, Jesus Christ. That didn't. I don't even. I can't even hear it, and it still startled me. We got startled! Brother. <laughs> ah, brother. Hey, brother. How you doing, brother? Oh, send regards to my sister. It's for all the times you called me a wolf. Okay. Oh. Oh, those aren't explosive canisters. Hold on. Oh. Uh, somehow I shot that man right in the brain and he, uh, he lived. Line it up. Hot chow, there we go. Hot chow. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, God. So when you zoom in and you try to move left or right, it just moves your character. <laughs> that man flipped on a banana peel. <laughs> oh, he moved. What immaculate timing on his part. He moved and crouched and he found the worst train. Okay. Hope that man flipped on a banana peel as well. There's a deadly banana peel right in this area. Look out for the banana peel over here, okay? There's a deadly banana peel. Aiming in this, uh, not great. Look at this. Look at this dramatic acting. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, oh, shit. There's people over here. Look out. People. Oops. That's, again, not the reload button. It is crouch. Square is crouch. In one grand, Garen. Who got him? Did I get him, sir? Are, are you dead? That guy thinks he's gonna get his acting card. So if I really put the performance in, whoa shit! Whoa shit! Look out! Oh, look at, can I pick this up? Oh, I can. Oh, you have to pick it up. The cog wheel. Yes. Yes, obviously, the cog wheel. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Hello? Excuse you? Who's shooting me? Ow! My ass. Oh, my God. Nope, still not the reload button. There we go. Now we're reloading. Who's shooting at me now? Oh, this guy. That, there was a man on, like, a tank. Sir? Maybe next time you see a dude in your clear peripheral view, or just regular view, shooting at me, fucking shoot him? Idiot? Action. Oh, the tank is repaired. Alright, here we go. Whoa. Look out. Oh, shit. God, look at this. This was like the start of... Basically, it's gonna just be like bricks and dirt. And then, uh... That's, that's the end of how exciting the graphic colors are gonna be. So when people are like, wow, look at how colorful this game looks. It's because games look like this for fucking years. What the fuck? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Oop. Oop. 
Hop, hit, hit. Do I have a different gun? Oh, I do. I have a... This is an M911. Oh my god. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Look up, look up. Yeah, one shot. One shot, baby. Pro gamer. Okay, I'm still alive. So I'm, oh, see that. Found a medical canteen. Guys, just a reminder, this game, not political. Okay, not political. Just... Oh my, Lanta, seriously? Probably should maybe not use this gun. Not political. Oh, this is a different gun. I have three guns, wow. Unbelievable. Now what's happening? Oh, somebody... There's someone up there? Boom. Someone over here? Hello? Sir? Hello? Hi, how's it going? Oops. Nope, you weren't supposed to turn around. Oh, nope. It's okay, he can't hit anything. It's alright. I think that might be my own guy. Oh, don't stop crouching. Just reload. No, just kidding. You can't reload this gun until you're all done. This is uh, the 3D version of an auto scroller. Ouch. Oh, hold on. The soup is hot and satisfying. Okay. can found three shots left where's the tank over there they're fine oh, we're here. Nope. Nope. nope hold on hold on i've fallen into a hole a minor crevice i can't possibly get out of that we're okay what happened to my son uh he fell into a hole and he could not get out she would later say that she had fallen in that Oh, no, I can't get up. There we go. There we go. Two shots here. I'm not 100% sure. I think we're nearing the end of this. At least he hopes we're nearing the end of this. Processing. Processing. What do you mean objective added? What the fuck is my objective? Locate the lost explosives truck. Oh, I don't want to do that. Where the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Oh. It's such a, like... What do I have? Do I have to move to... Oh, shit. Sir? here oh no we found a field surgeon pack though oh what's the grenade button L2? Oh, oh, no. sir no there's a grenade i'll run right over there so it looks really cool for your action movie video game oh thank god i have full health now now this gameplay can continue Where the fuck is this stupid explosive truck? I don't I don't know what I don't know what you want. The the truck is gonna stay lost because I don't know what the fuck is happening. Not a medical canteen. Watch out for enemies in the buildings. Uh Gunny will give you new orders. Go to the school in the southeast of the area. Uh, this area? This? 
Compass is this. That's north. I kind of like that it just tells you. Oh, hold on. I found the enemies. We're good. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. That's a... That's what we like to call a tank. Excuse you? Excuse you? The blown double doors. supposed to be doing I think I I think I shot an enemy sorry sir if you want how does it bring you to a halt when you What's over there? Kind of just nothing, all right. Good to know, good to know. There's just a couple of fences here. Into the stadium through the sewers. I don't want to go in the sewers. Ugh. Crouch. Gross. This game is disgusting. You're really in the shit now. Ow. 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 Whoa. No, don't do that. That's not what you're supposed to do. Baseball stadium? We gonna we gonna hit some home runs real quick? What do you say? Quick batting practice? Hold on, let's run. Well, let's let's make our own home run. Here we go! Ow! 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 ow. I'm just trying to run a home run. Ow! 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 Oof! I died. I didn't even get to run the home run. Ah! Oh, I was gonna run the base paths. Oh! He never got to live his dream. His dream to run the base. Oh my! There's no checkpoints. All right. Well, that's what happens when you go to war, you die. Okay. Well. <laughs> well fuck that nonsense. Okay. So we have Medal of Honor. Uh, I... Medal of Honor. Rising Sun. Medal of... Medal of Honor. Not Frontline. Rising Sun. Now we're going to have to do this one a little bit weirdly, just because we have kind of an odd situation where we have the game case, a, a good game case, it has like an official PlayStation logo and everything in it, uh, OG art, black label box here, and we have the disc, player's choice, platinum hits, no, GameCube, Japanese GameCube, PAL Xbox. Regular old PlayStation 2. Uh, it's not a greatest hits, platinum, platinum hits. It's just a regular old black label game. Um, and... Man, that... Hmm. Feels weird to... Well, no, because... This stuff would be sought after. Not as much, but... It's just... It's so weird when the, the box only price and the... The other price combined are like so much more than the regular one. But we'll figure that mess out a little bit later in the show. But next we have Save. No, sorry. Meet the Robinsons. Another Disney based uh, movie based video game. I believe this is 2009. This one has the instruction manual in it. It has the Robinson Industries family manual technical album. Um, so... 
we can we can learn about that. Uh, where is? You can own the music of the future. Jamie Cullum, Rob Thomas, Rufus Wainwright, a score by Danny Elfman. All right. How in the world is this not copyright Disney? What? Not all the characters appear in game. What a weird. What a bizarre thing to put on the back of a box. 2007. All the way down here. Not all characters appear in game. That is so weird. Why would you put them on the box? I guess if you have like one piece of key art, you just say, you know what? Fuck it. Just use it for everything because it's market recognition. And then uh, just screw it, you know? Just just put whatever in there. Alright, last game of the day here. Well, obviously we want a new game because we've never played this game before. Uh, there we go. There are cheats and extras. <clears throat> max health and vulnerability. Max out base component, max components. Upgrade all gadgets, max energy, no energy consumption. All charge ball courts. All charge ball opponents, concept art, blueprints. Action figures. Charge ball color. Shirts. Hats. Oh man. Nothing there. Extras. Action figures, concept art. Movies, got credits. Let's we'll go ahead and begin the old begin the game here. Disney Interactive Studios presents. An Avalanche Software Production. Avalanche would go on to make the fantastic Toy Story 3 video game. There we go. Go ahead, Carl. Wilbur, come back, please. If you don't, you'll get caught like always. Ship the blame to me. We'll fight, not talk for a week. Then but first, let me take a selfie. Come up with another crazy plan, and I'll get blamed again. Relax, Carl. Operation Tut is complete. Why did it flash that final image <laughs> really quickly across the screen? Ancient Egypt. Okay, so you can't really do anything. Very exciting. No. Just kidding. Hold on. Stand on this for a little longer. Oh, this one even has like the old timey film grain already on the game. Weird. Uh, there's a weird inversion with the camera. Uh oh. I can't see anything that's happening because the camera. Uh, Wilbur will vault over waist high objects, press the left analog stick towards them. Okay. You don't have to do anything, just kind of move the character every once in a while, and then uh, you'll be able to. Feel like you're in the film. Ooh. Here we go. Uh, towards small gaps, automatically jump over them. This game is not interesting at all. At least in the up game, you got to like do stuff. 
Ooh, oh, fell. Loser. He was so close to the exit, too. How do we make sure that we get more gameplay out of our game? Uh, make sure he falls right near the exit. Okay. <laughs> this is ladder animation. Uh oh. Ladder fell. Uh, oh no. Oh no, a QTE. Tap, eh, uh, what? Come on, go faster. So I'm not even really a QTE. Ooh, look at that matrix shot. Look at that. Look at how fucking cool that was. Uh, left analog stick up. Just go up. There we go. Nailed it. Oh god. This one's real long. Uh well next to an object that can be pushed, press and hold R1. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, is it this stupid dog thing? Oh my god, this is the slowest push in the world. So I can go in here. I never even figured out. This is so boring. You can't like punch or kick or jump or do anything. Okay, that's way better. Way better. Okay. Here we go. Now we just move the analog stick forward. So we get to experience the cinematic cinematness of this game. Look at that! Look at how close we are to the exit! Don't stop, you fucking idiot. Oh, Ooh, just kidding. God, look at this! Remember Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> oh, I died. I 100% got smashed. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong here. Do I have to... I don't know. I, I just kind of mashed X a little bit there, and I think that was the difference. His running style is so dramatic. What? Oh no, it was all a ruse or something. Somehow this game looks like it's on a green screen. Wait, that man go into the past? <laughs> what a dumb title card moment. It's irresponsible. You're skipping carefree Look down at his hair. His, no one's hair bounces no. like that. That is absurd. I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely This unnoticed. was when uh, Disney Animation was kind of just in the fucking dead? toilet. Chariot of the God? I know this looks bad, but let's examine Bolt the evidence. hadn't saved it yet, kid a and it'd just been kind of floundering My around for a while. Yeah. This God. Pixar was like number there one, and Disney like didn't know what to do. Like, ah, oh, God, fuck, like, uh... Alter existence as we know it, okay? I don't even have subtitles. I can't even read what's happening right now. I just have to assume. Son? Be nice to Robin Williams. Just a little code talk Get it? my dad and I had. Because yeah, he was in I... robots? See? I just need one more person to finish my collection. Someone who's suave, debonair, and has rock star good looks. 
To the time machine. Was it funny? Was what he said funny? Tell me, I don't know. Okay, the Robinson House. The mission screen. The mission screen will detail your current mission and objective. Press the start button and then select the mission screen. Speak to Franny. Uh, you can't sneak into the garage with your mom right there. Go see what she was doing. Oh, that's what I'm doing? I'm trying to sneak into the garage? Look at all this crap that's here. There you are. Have you taken out the you garbage, the garbage yet? But I'm dying to do it. Honest. Because I think someone just changed the garage code. What? But I needed to get in there. This is oh, terrible. I know you're disappointed. Taking out the garbage is quite a thrill ride. Now, why don't you go ask your cousin Laszlo if he knows anything about the Where code? is he? Look at her Sounds absurd like he's in the lab. body type. Big ol' fucking jugs. Itty bitty. Itty bitty waste. Just fucking huge knockers. I'm assuming that's your mom. I'm trusting that that's your mom. If it's not his mom, I might be on a list. If you want to shut the fuck the up. I don't even know what you're talking about, but shut up. I was just trying to look at the fucking map. Okay, at least I'm going the right direction. <laughs> I pushed it a literal step too soon. Okay, great. Leave me alone. I don't need your help. It was this fucking freak. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Can I talk to you? How bad I think you are. Hey, I love orange. But maybe later. Listen, someone changed the garage code and I need to get in there. Well, I didn't change it. But I know how you can find out who did. All you need is a private Two giraffes with telescopes. Three. <laughs> this game's hilarious. Well, maybe you could just build a scanner and use it to scan the keypad for DNA. Use the disassembler in the storage room to get the parts you need. Then you can build the scanner with our handy Robinson transmogrifier. Oh my god. This game sucks. This whole world sucks. The transmorgifier. <laughs> We're quirky sci-fi. <laughs> Shut up. I can't even hear it and I'm annoyed. You know? So imagine if I could hear it, how much more annoyed I would be. You know what? I'd like to thank my uh, computer monitor for absolute... Oh, that's right. You can't jump in this fucking stupid game. I need to actually thank my monitor for breaking on me today so that I have to go buy another one um, so that I don't have to hear this stupid fucking game. Hey. I, I think I'm going the correct way. I have no idea. Stop, stupid camera. Hmm. So you can't go on the banister. Right. So I have to be able to get here. That he won't do. Am I? I'm supposed to go towards the middle, right? Oh wait, what if I? Pretty sure this is exactly where I just like came from. Whoa. Whoa, what a big jump, buddy. What a big, wacky, woozy jump. Can you not climb that? Ooh. There we go. Tap triangle to fire short range burst. This will uh, disassemble targeted objects into component parts. Alternate mode, press L2, then triangles to enter aim mode. Fire long range burst, burst at your target. Wilbur can target objects by pressing L1. While targeting an object, Wilbur will move in relation to that object, strafing around 
and moving towards or away from the object. Am I collecting bolts or something? This hack game ripping off Ratchet and Clank. So now what am I doing? I think. Alright, hold on. Hang on. Nope, I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear you. I just want to look at the mission. That's it. Use the disassembler to gather ten of each of the three components. I don't want to do that. That's boring as shit. Three, one, five, two, eleven, thirteen. Uh, okay, six. Twenty. I have so many of something. Fifteen. But I don't know how to get. How do you get the green ones? Jump, just drop. Ah, oh, baby. Ooh, I might break my ankle if I fall. What was there a. Uh... There an option menu here? Let's see. Camera up, down, normal. Whoops. Options. Oh, that was. That works way better, considering that it actually works. Nope. Oh, there we go. Now we have ten of each. Now what? Mission. Build a Robinson Trams Mortifier in your lab. Time to go back to the lab. Building them upgrades. Okay, hold on. Just kidding. You are shitting in my face. You really, you really made a double, a double tall fucking, oh, you piece of shit. You piece of shit. Why? Why was that necessary? Who looked at that and thought, you know what would be really annoying? Is if they fell down and they couldn't get back up easily. They have to take the long way around. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Just want to use the ladder. That's it. That's all I want to do. Please. There we go. And then uh, McAfee can just fuck the fuck off. Uh, this might be the shortest we ever play a game. This game sucks. Go on over and try out the transmogrifier. Boy, it's user friendly. Are you the transmogrifier? Uh, can you point me in the direction of, uh, maybe this? There we go. Uh, sure. Boy, I hope this is the right one. Oh, there we go. Tap circle to scan the area around Wilbur. Uh, clues on how to interact with his environment. L1. Single information. Well, now that you have a scanner, you should know I'm always on the lookout for chromatically interesting scans. How come? Oh, I use the scans for reference in my paintings. All the scans you make will be automatically uploaded to my database. And cousin, I'll gladly reward you for any scans you find. Great. Well, I've got to go scan the garage door and find out who changed the code. See you later, Wilbur. Scanner is a very important tool to find. He uses it to find interesting objects in the environment. Target Laszlo. Uh, Laszlo is the artist in the family. And can usually be found working on a mural or other large painting. He uses his propeller cap to fly around so he can paint those hard to reach spots. There it is. She looks like a scientific doofus, but okay. Carl, one of your father's earlier inventions, the con controllable all purpose robotic uh, life form Carl is your best friend. Oh, your best friend's a robot. What a loser. What a loser. Want something to take with you on the go that's too large to fit in your pocket? Use the Cupid. You'll love the results. Okay.
A jelly bean life form found on Nebulon 5, they are mostly friendly species which developed in a bouncy propulsion system to escape their natural enemy. Peanut butter saurus. What? What the hell's a peanut butter saurus? Hold on, now all of a sudden I care. I'm gonna qualify as. I had a keypad security, the door won't open unless the correct code is entered. It looks like Grandpa Bud was the last to use it. Grandpa Bud is absolutely gonna be a stoner. Oh, it's Grandpa Bud, bro. You wanna have a toke? Where the fuck am I going? Ma'am, look out! Look at her like very 50s. Aesthetic. Who is this? Did you find oh, hold on. We can transmorgify a thing. Whoa, what? Whoa, look at that. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God, Franny's your mom. Whoo, boy. The huge knockers comment does not come back to get me banned. Whew. Look at that character model, though. That is fucking absurd. Just absurd. Also, look at when you're in, like... Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Grandpa Bud. This is All of this is just to find out a door thing. Also, dip, ooh, look at this big TV. Wasn't she just like... Uh, you need to go do the thing. Whatever. Oh, you just break shit in her house. Okay. Good fuck. Okay, so now we can do that. You need to go take out the garbage or some bullshit. Nope, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I can't hear you, but shut the fuck up. Alright, hold on. Robinson House. Ooh, other... Other side. Other sides. Whatever direction I'm facing is this way. Go back this way. We got over the train. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. Now we're going to go see Grandpa Bud, I think. Oh, Wilbur? this is the kitchen. Uh, oh, no, we're good. We're good. I, also, I hate that it's, uh, ooh, I knocked him over. Well, hey there. Is this where we sign up for the treasure hunt? Uh, no. I need the code to the garage. The code Who is 6969. My now. two favorite numbers. I don't want to find your fucking teeth. Oh my god. Oh my god. You suck. You tell me the new garage you find my teeth if I'm old? Garage who's a what's it? Oh, so he's just like quintessential. Quintessential like old person. Okay, now we gotta go fucking look in the music room that I very clearly know where it is in this stupid house. Door. Uh, so the canyon room is locked. Oh, okay. There we go. Wilbur, it's me, Laszlo. If you're going to the music room, see if you can scan all the frogs. Oh, there's some frogs. Hello. Family album when you've scanned them all. Once you've targeted, you can easily switch targets by flicking the right analog stick in the direction of the new target. Well done. Um, okay. These frogs are just playing. So now what? I don't know. Wait, that's an elevator? There's an elevator just to get to this, like, stupid... What? This is, uh, this is dumb. So it's on the stage, I guess?
Fran says he plays a mean bass and keeps the rhythm flowing. Ferdinand, his webbed fingers tickle the ivories. He's the finest, the finest amphibian piano player to be found. Fabian, when he's not lounging around at the fly bar, he's Frankie's trombone player. Freddy, his jumping legs come in handy, playing a steady and entertaining beat on the drums. Uh, okay. So how do I, what do I, what am I doing? Oh, here's this guy. Is he trumpeting? Floyd, he can hit a wide range of notes on his uh, frog horn, and his strong legs make him the ideal bouncer for the group. Is that because he can jump? Oh. Oh my god. Nice work, you've completed the frog scans. All right. Action figure received. Frankie, the lead singer of the frog band. He likes his fly cocktail shaken, not stirred. Oh, he loves drinking flies. Oh, God. One of the most horrifying images. Okay, so how do we... Item received? Hold on. How do I look at that? How do I look at what item I have? Mission gadgets? Uh, blueprints? No. I got an action figure, guys. An action figure. It's not a doll, it's an action figure. Grandpa, I found your teeth. Oh, I only found a paper airplane, a dust bunny, and a potato chip that looks like Jamaica. Jamaica? Cool. Now. Did you change the garage? No. Door? Yep. Yep. So. 420 blazed it. I don't know. Someone else changed it right after I did. Don't oh recall my God. who though. Oh my Why God. Ask Uncle Art? He's out back by Can his you really not use your scanner? <sighs> Uncle Art. I don't want to go talk to Art. Ugh. He's out back. Ugh. This is so dumb. We don't really have way in the. Uh, we don't have lunch in the way of missions. Just make them go around aimlessly looking for a fucking garage door key. Code, cord, god, fuck, ass, game. Oh, what are you doing? Hello? Can I? Hello? No. Get out of there. Dimitri. Spike and Dimitri live in various potted plants located throughout the Robinson house. What the fuck? What? Hel what? That is goddamn horrifying, Spike. Alright. Cool. Alright, so here's this map. Robinson house. Oh, okay, so we just have to go outside. Open the door. <clears throat> Look at this wannabe Incredibles character. Talk to Uncle Art. He is usually outside by a spaceship. He ran away in a ball. Uh, prototype Protectosphere? I read that completely wrong. Need to travel somewhere in a jiffy hop on the Projectosphere and get there in style. We made up a bunch of bullshit. Left analog stick to move is normal. Watch your power meter. If you run out of energy, the sphere will disappear. We start from the last checkpoint. Okay. Whoops, ran over that and that. Ooh. Oh, go up this way. Okay. Whee! Record time 150. Hoo! This is like shitty Sonic. 
which means that it's shitty shit. Which kind of means that it's like good, you know? Because can you have really bad? Well, you can have bad shits. I have bad shits all the time. So. Yeah, you can have shitty shit. Never mind. Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> Just keep, just keep going. Oh my god. Whee! Trying to adjust the camera so I can see, but then uh, I can't. Alright. Whoa! 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 Look at how interesting this is. Man, if this were at least on 360, I'd be able to get some freaking achievements, you know? Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. Nope. This way. Hey! Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Fuck. Uh oh. Oh, no. I was right there. I had the world record in the palm of my hand. Okay. So we just go. Hey! Whoop! What the fuck? Why'd you throw me that way, you dumb asshole? Just throw them to the right. Who cares? They're children. We already have their money. Their parents' money. What? Okay. Here we go. Straight. Wow. Straight on tilt. Are you shitting? Are you fucking shitting in my face? God damn it. Game. Here we go. Here we go. Whee! Missed it. Fucking fuck. Jesus Christ. This controls like absolute fucking dog shit. But it's supposed to be difficult and challenging. No, it should control normally. What's the point of going fast if you're not accurate? You know what I mean? Ooh. Ah, uh, uh, uh. Look at that! Right into a toilet. <laughs> Fuck you! Greetings, pizza greetings, eater. pizza eater. Wilbur. Just the boy I wanted to see. I need help. Me too. I have to find out who changed the code to the garage. No time for that now. We're in the midst of a crisis of interstellar proportions. I made a pizza delivery to Nebulon 5 and picked up a herd oh of my god. Oh my cars. god. I had a bunch of them on my ship. Oh my now god. Escaped. Wilbur Robinson is on the job. Uh, any hint on how to capture them? Yes. A high energy discharge will stun them long enough to catch them. You know, like from that charge ball game you're always playing? Great. I'll just go get my charge ball glove from my room. That a boy, nephew. Go get him. And we never learned of the password. Uh, never learned who changed it. Never learned any of that. Because Jesus fucking Christ, is that the most boring goddamn bullshit in the world? Would you like to continue playing? Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely. No, thank you. I'm I'm good. I'm, uh, I'm okay with uh, quitting completely. And uh, never seeing that ever again. Holy shit. How do I look at the action figure I unlocked? 21, 21 minutes. I think we played... Uh... Oh, hold on. Yeah, extras? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. We have an action figure. I think I played Austin Powers Pinball longer. And it had less content. It's an absolute... Sack of shit fucking game. Oh, we got the... Oh my gosh, look at that! Look at that, how do I... Zoom. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, nope, hold on. Rarity. Oh, you can hide the box. Why can you not... Rotate? Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Collect all 50. That's the most interesting thing about this game, is the action figure aspect of it. 
And we also have, uh, we also have this thing. That's kind of, kind of interesting. That's about the nicest thing I'll say about this game, just at all. The action figure thing is kind of interesting. And there you go. And Wilbur Robinson, or whatever the fuck, was never seen again. He never got that code. He just said, fuck it. He gave up. And then he lived a long, happy life, not looking for access codes anymore. And that was Meet the Robinsons. Uh, save the Robinson Time Machine, you have to do 40 missions. 40 missions. That was only one of them, and it was just a bunch of fucking fe fetch quests. So, <laughs> not off to a great start. Bad game. Bad game. But that is what you want, or that's what you get uh, when you have a mystery bag. This one, of course, complete in box. Um which is uh, the most complete and the best version of a game to get. And we'll go ahead and punch that into pricecharting.com here in just a moment. I don't know how to put things in open, in, open them in separate tabs. So we'll do this. And we'll put the pen here and I'll tap my microphone. The Robinsons, Robinsons. All right. It's on Game Boy Advance, GameCube, Nintendo DS. All right, so we have our prices ready to roll. We have our calculator ready to calculate, and we'll get some uh, get some numbers here for you. What's interesting is like, I think this Meet the Robinsons game is actually with the like Disney internal uh, like gaming group that they had because they had Disney. It's Disney Walt Disney Interactive or whatever. Up was under THQ. Up was two thousand nine, and Disney was two thousand seven. So. That's kind of kind of weird. You figure they would in-house it at some point, but THQ had made so many of the Pixar movies into games at that point, and like sequels and stuff. That uh, um, I guess it just kind of made sense to just keep running with it, and then letting Disney kind of do their in-house stuff. Maybe Pixar was working by themselves more at that point. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just an interesting note. So first up, we had Up going for. Uh, going for the loose version of that, just disc only. Uh, and that is currently going for... Oh, by the way, I'd just like to remind you, our grand total is $195.71. Um, the bag number two total is $55.22. We'll absolutely eclipse um, $200 here. We might even do it with this very first game. Uh, we need $4.00. 39 cents up goes for disc only $4.99 for 99 a big shout out to up disc only getting us up over that $200 threshold good for you so we'll go ahead and put that in here to the old calculator for and 99 we'll add our next game which was medal of honor which is going to get a little interesting just because we are uh, we're taking the loose price, which is four dollars and twenty cents, just blaze, four twenty, plus the box only price, which goes for four forty four, which means that that game is worth eight sixty four, complete um, like loose case and the box only. The complete price is five thirty nine, which is a little weird, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and work with that. So four eight twenty four sixty or eight sixty four for that. 864 and it is a official playstation box that's the reason i'm a little more comfortable with doing that but if you have a problem with it uh that's okay that's fine it's not your show last but not least we have meet the robinsons uh, and meet the robinsons was a complete inbox game and that will add a grand total of five dollars and fifty cents to this so a little bit on the um 
smaller value side of things, which is kind of understandable because you have two movie based games that don't sell a ton of copies. And then you have uh, Medal of Honor, which also has a ton of copies out there. And so that really drives the price down. So we have a big grand total here of, uh, hold on. I don't think I added the 550, uh, 499 and yeah, 20. Okay. Plus $5 and 50 cents. And that'll bring it to $19 and 13 cents though. If you were, if you wanted to, you could take the complete price of medal of honor rising sun and work with that 539. And that seems to fit a little bit more nicely with what, these other games are worth, and that seems like it's a little bit fair. But, you know, I take with I take it with what we have. We don't actually have it complete. We just have the box and we have the disc. So that's how we get that 864. And then we added that 550 on, and that's going to give us a grand total of 1913. So a surprisingly high number for games that aren't super valuable, which is interesting. We'll add that 1913 to the bag number two total, which was at uh, 5522, 5522, and that'll give us a t bag number two total of 7435. Bag number two has one last shot to get to being worth $100, but it's going to need a big $26 day um, to get there. Our biggest day so far uh was one of the bag number two days i believe and that one was 25.58 oh i'm sorry 27 dollars. bag number three had has the record at 27 dollars, and most of the value was in one game i would be very surprised if bag number two gets to uh gets to 100 100 dollars in value uh so there we go and then we got to update our grand total our grand total was 195.71 nine Five seventy one plus the nineteen thirteen we had, and we have a grand total of two hundred and fourteen dollars and eighty four cents. Two fourteen eighty four. I put a I put sixty dollars into this, and we have games that are worth. A total of over $200, which is absolutely wild. Um, and there you go. You're all caught up. Those were the games today. Hopefully you enjoyed. And hopefully uh, when this show airs next, I will have a monitor that works. Thank you so much for watching. If you like content like this, you can catch my Mystery Bag Monday every Monday, either on twitch.tv slash Rex or youtube.com slash Rex. However you choose to watch, thank you for watching. If you're on YouTube, scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. If you're on Twitch or you have Twitch and you're watching on YouTube and you'd like to give me a free subscription, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Prime Gaming. If you have Prime Gaming, you have one free Prime Gaming sub that you can give to any creator on Twitch. And if you chose me, I would be honored because it would pay for these stupid mystery bags that I keep buying so that we can enjoy shit like this. Meet the Robinsons. If you want to see more like this, Subscribe. Make me filthy rich so I can buy more shitty games. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, stay mysterious.